What's going on, my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to the channel. So I get a lot of people that ask me about Khalifa, my carpet python. Uh, generally speaking, how I care for her and how they are as overall pets. So we're gonna talk about things you should know before getting a carpet python. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, everybody, so welcome back to the video. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about things you should know before getting a carpet python. And I guess we'll go ahead and jump right into it with the first one, um, probably the most asked question. Um, and it's, you know, are these guys aggressive? And you guys know how I feel about the term aggressive. The answer is no. However, as babies, they are known to be a little more nippy than most snakes. These guys are native to Australia. So yes, they are a um, very defensive snake. They're a slender snake, as you can see. So these guys are tree dwellers. Um, but again, as babies, they are um, defensive. But with regular handling, um, these guys will tame down quite easy. I got Khalifa. Um, she was already, um, already about two foot when I got her. So she was definitely not a hatchling um, and she was very defensive. But as you can see, she's calmed down with some regular handling. Um, I do uh, use a snake hook with her and she does fine. So I don't have that issue. Um, and then to add on to that, you definitely want to take your time with these guys. Uh, these guys are very flighty um, and they do respond to very quick movement. So if you make a movement that they're unsure about, they will definitely kind of shift real quick on you. So um, that kind of does scare a lot of people and some people will consider that a strike, although it's really not. Um, but they're just really keen on quick movement. So you gotta be careful uh, with these guys and be very patient, be very gentle. And again, they will calm down and kind of just become, I'm not gonna say placid because every animal is different. Um, even now, as calm as she is, that feeding response is just crazy. So, so that leads me to my next point, feeding response. Um, Khalifa is probably, <sighs> her feeding response is probably one of the craziest out of all 13 snakes. I mean, she's not a very huge snake. She's definitely a, you know, decently sized snake. Um, but no matter how friendly she is, when there is a rat or when it's feeding time, all bets are off. She is ready to eat. She is striking at the glass, at the, wherever she thinks I'm at, wherever she smells the rat, she's definitely gonna strike. But again, with regular handling, um, just like most snakes, these guys will be able to determine, um, you know, the difference between handling and feeding. So you definitely wanna make sure that you um, implement your presence and so they know when to feed and when not to feed. But again, um, if you're dealing with a hatchling or maybe just a very dis defensive individual, um, that can be an issue and it's something to definitely think about when dealing with this species. So another thing to keep in mind is that these guys are semi-arboreal or semi-arboreal snakes, meaning they dwell in the trees, um, but they do come down um, and vice versa. Now, these guys are in the same family as green tree pythons, which is Morelia. Now, green tree pythons literally spend 99% of their time up you know, in the trees or, you know, perched or whatever. Um, and these guys will do the same. However, unlike green tree pythons, you will actually catch these guys come down in the middle of the day to kind of explore or take a drink. The green tree pythons, generally speaking, do not do that. Um, Venus, my green tree python, <clears throat> as long as the lights are on and it's daytime, he's asleep, he does not move. Um, he, does, he, he does not move at all. Um, however, with um, carpet pythons, they're very active and that's why they are considered semi-arboreal because they will come down and actually get in a cave and coil up or sometimes you will see them out and they're kind of just, you know, cruising around, sniffing, smelling things. So that is a big difference. A lot of people will set these guys up in a um, strictly arboreal enclosure like a green tree python and they don't really have any room to move um, horizontally and these guys definitely need that land area as well because they will cruise around. So again, semi-arboreal snakes. These guys will utilize both land and um, very, very excellent climbers. When it comes to uh, carpet pythons, as you guys know, depending on what morph we're talking about or what species I should say, um, these guys are not by any means a small snake. Um, this is a jungle carpet python, Khalifa. Um, again, I did not get her as a hatchling, um, but if I had to guess, she was about three, maybe four years old. Um, she's not a huge snake, but again, she's not a small snake, definitely bigger than a carpet python. So you definitely wanna keep that in mind. So this is what I would consider a medium to large size arboreal snake. 
So you can imagine what type of arboreal setup they will need um, as adults. Um, these guys definitely like their height, so you wanna keep that in mind. Now with her being a jungle carpet python, um, once I move, I'm looking to get her into um, a four by three by three, so she'll definitely have some height. But if we're looking at a coastal or diamond carpet pythons, a couple of the bigger species of carpet pythons, you're probably looking at something a little bit bigger. Um, but again, not considered a small snake. So if you were looking for a small snake, this is not something that I would consider uh, because again, they do not stay small. Um, this is Khalifa, kind of almost shared. So I would say Khalifa is about five foot. So again, um, and so jungle carpet pythons usually range about five to seven feet, whereas, you know, diamond coastals get seven to nine on average. So again, that's gonna come in, your research is gonna come into play when you are looking at which carpet python you want to get. So with that in mind, the last point I would like to make is, you know, like I just said, there are many morphs, many species of carpet pythons. Um, I just named a couple, um, but there's jack wire, um, a couple of morphs, um, there's, um, exanthic, there's um, jungle, um, there's all types, and then you have your diamond and your coastal, which are other species that you can find naturally. So you definitely want to do your research to make sure you know which one you want, because again, there are some size differences as well as depending on what morph you get, um, there have known to been some neurological defects, you know, in carpet pythons. I know uh, jaguar carpet pythons are the big ones there. You know, a lot of people say that they're the spider, um, it's the spider gene for carpet python. So you definitely want to do your research and keep your eye out for that just to make sure you're not getting, you know, any unhealthy snakes or any snakes just with any issues um, altogether. But they come in a variety of morphs. There's um, a morphs and, you know, species in general. I mean, some people even crossbreed. I've seen Arian Jayas and uh, jungles. I've seen diamonds and coastals. So there's literally a plethora of um, morphs and uh, localities and, and species and subspecies and whatever that you can get but with all that said if that is you know if you take all of these things into consideration you've done your research and you still feel like this is the right snake for you then definitely go for it these are beautiful snakes very fun to work with um you know most boat like luther you know my bigger boas um, even my blood pythons are kind of now that they're bigger they kind of move a little slower um they kind of you know just like the well on their own but even at this size i mean she's active she's moving she's climbing and again she is a ferocious eater so if that's something that you're ready for definitely go for it um and if there's something you're not ready for consider other species um, and see what else is out there um there's so many different animals out there that you could choose from but again do your research make sure you can um give it the proper setup um, proper care um and all is well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Khalifa, my jungle carpet python here. She's doing very, very well for me. Uh, looking really good. Just shared for me recently. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I also plan on doing a things to know before getting a blood python. So I try to pick some of my species that people label or deem as aggressive and kind of, you know, talk about them. Just kind of, you know, get people to understand that these species aren't necessarily aggressive. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Drop a comment down there. Hit the subscribe button. Um, turn those post notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Follow me on Instagram at DWExotics. And as always, stay exotic.